What is up guys, welcome back into the channel. Thank you for stopping in if you are new. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're up in the shop today. We have dad's new truck. Um, hasn't been on the channel, I don't think yet. Uh, no, actually it has, because when we towed the 98 to Wills, um, we use this, but he is actually currently changing the oil. Um, shout out to Aaron Smith again, um, one of our AMS oil dealers. He's sponsored the channel a couple of times, decided to um, send dad some um, oil, some flush. Right there, yep, AMS oil. OW40 is what his truck calls for. Um, we've actually ran uh, AMS oil products in oh, what our tractors. We have gun cleaner. We have I don't remember what he all bar sent. Bar and chain oil. Yeah, bar and chain oil, the chainsaw. He just sent us a bunch of different stuff the first time, um, but this time it's actually oil for Dad's truck. He sent um, this engine and transmission flush. Uh, you just stick it in there and let it run. I think for 10 or 15 minutes, and it just cleans everything out. Then you drain it. And then we'll be putting obviously the new oil in. So big shout out to Aaron. All his information is down in the description. Um, if you guys need anything AMS oil related, um, I still have cleaner that I'm running in my truck. Um, we ran cleaner in the tractors. Um, you name it, they've got it. Like I said, they have barn chain oil, they have gun cleaner, they have obviously oil, I mean, everything. So all his information is down in the description. I'll put some stuff here too. Um, like his Facebook link and all that. But no, dad went ahead and got all this changed. Um, oil's drained. Um, he made a little mess, it looks like, right back there. But oh well, no big deal. This is dad's new truck. Um, what is it, a 2015? 2015. 2015, it's the uh, 2500 with the 64 Hemi. Um, he did have an 08 Chevy, so I figured it'd be kind of a cool video to ask him some questions about what he likes about this one versus the 08 versus, I mean, the 08 was just a half ton, this is a three quarter ton, so it's gonna be a little bit different in comparison, but going from a GM product to a Chrysler product, um, just ask him some questions. We'll probably walk around the truck here real quick and uh, go from there. So starting off, like I said, this is dad's new truck, new to him, He how long ago did you get it? Probably three four months, months ago. four months. Um, like I said, he had an 08 um, Chevy 1500 before half ton. So, what's your overall likes over this or the new truck versus the Chevy? Then we'll talk about dislikes, and then we'll just go from there. So, I guess okay. you can start with your likes. Yeah, um, I'm not married to any one particular company. Uh, when I went out and looked for a truck, I wanted something that uh, met my budget first and foremost, and then uh, kind of looked at features and things of that nature afterwards. Uh, my father-in-law also got a Hemi and a Dodge Durango, and he loves it. Um, so I thought I'd start there. I contemplated getting a diesel, and due to the price differences and no more than what I would drive and tow, I stayed with the Hemi. Uh, biggest thing that I like about it, it does have power. My camper that I pull, empty, uh, GVW 7,700 pounds. And of course, when I have a loaded refrigerator stock down and things of that nature, uh, I actually was in a passing zone going up a hill and I got on it. I didn't even floor it, but I got on it. At the bottom of the hill, I was running about 53, 54. I went around traffic and at the top of the hill, I was doing an excess of 70. Um, and I still had room to go. So I, from the power standpoint, I like it. Fuel mileage is just slightly worse than the 5.3 that I had in my Chevy. Uh, the dislike that I would say with this one, and the boys told me, um, the smooth ride is gone. Um, the 5.3 Chevy that I had, of course, is a half ton, much smoother ride. This one, I think, is a tad bit longer wheelbase. Um, but being a three quarter ton, I do feel the, the bumps and things of that nature. But the, overall, I really like the truck. It's nothing fancy, it's just the tradesman model. Um, it does have the backup camera from that standpoint. So that does come in handy, especially when I'm backing uh, to trailers and things of that nature. Never had a tonneau cover on a vehicle before, and I was a little bit skeptical of that, but I love it. It's easy on, easy off. In a matter of 30 to 60 seconds, you can have it rolled up or back down. Um, I got tons of leg room in this thing. The one thing I did like about the Chevy, 
the back seat was a 60-40, so if I did need to haul something, you had to have a person in the back seat, I could do it. This one is an all up or all down, but it does have a built-in cargo carrier underneath. Uh, it does, it gives me everything that I want. I'm not, I don't get excited with vehicles. I just want something that gets me from point A to point B that's somewhat reliable. This was a 15, I got it with 55,000 miles on it. Uh, this is my first oil change. The one thing I did not realize that it called for the 0W40 or OW40. And when I got to researching it, I did a lot of reviews. A lot of them, what's stocked in stores is for like the European version. Now, a lot of you guys watching this may say that doesn't matter. You can burn different grades. But with the amount of money that I put in a vehicle, I want to take care of it. And Amsoil's reviews was four and a half, five star. Um, I went on a lot of different websites. So Jacob got in uh, contact with Aaron. Aaron, yep. And he uh, he's helping me out. This one is true for Chrysler products. And a lot of them that I found in the stores when I went and talked to my guys at different auto parts in town said it was all the European grade and did not specifically say for Chrysler. So I, I want to thank Aaron for helping me out. He shipped it to me. He had it here within a few days. And I just ran the cleaner through it, drained the oil, and I'm getting ready to put the new filter back on and the new oil back in it. But uh, overall, I like the truck. I, do, I would like to eventually put a little bit wider stand, uh, put different uh, wheels on it, something that has a little bit more of an offset that give me a little bit more of a kick out since I have the uh, fender flares on it. But uh, it sits up a little higher than the Chevy. I like them both. I'm not married to one over the other, but uh, they, the Chevy was starting to, to see some mileage. I had about 154, 155,000 yeah. miles on it. And I'm in a position where I try and owe on one vehicle at a time. My wife's was paid off, so I wanted to upgrade and then get this paid off, and then in a year or two, get her something back again. So. But uh, no, it's it served me well. Like I said, it doesn't hurt for power. We did have it in front of our gooseneck trailer a couple of times, and uh, yeah, I, I would go back to one. I mean, I would. So. So guys, like Dad was saying, this is the tradesman package. I'll pull the key out so you're not hearing a ding. Um, but when he ordered or when he bought this, excuse me, the gentleman that he got it off of actually ordered it with the upgraded. Um, head unit and backup camera and different stuff like that. The stickers over there in the glove box, there's a couple other features he added on. Um, I think he got the NFAB steps and then like the tunnel cover and all that was added on, I believe at the factory is what the paper said. But no, this thing's got a lot of storage space. Um, in dad's 08, obviously he didn't have any of this. Um, so he kind of had a little makeshift Velcro box here that he would stick like important papers and stuff in. Um, but now he's got all this room down here, the center console, it does flip up. The only thing that it doesn't have that the 08 did was obviously the seat here would flip up and there was storage underneath, which was kind of nice because he does uh, carry a handgun so he could lock it in down there. Um, but no, it's got the little cubby over here, like most of them do, obviously, all this. Um, here's the paperwork I was telling you about where they he ordered it and stuff. But um, no, it's nice. Like that said, it's got the backup camera, um, nothing, nothing too fancy. And the one thing Dad was really particular about when looking for a vehicle, he's not huge on like the fancy wood trim and all that stuff in the vehicles. I'm not either. It kind of is tacky looking to me. Especially when you spend money on something like this and then they throw like the wood grain in on the door panel and then it's all over the dash. I don't like that. I hate it in the new GM trucks. Um, it just, it, it looks cheap to me. It's not eye appealing. So, and then back here, excuse the mess, he obviously uses it as a truck. But this is like he was saying, it's either up or it's down unlike the chevy where it was the split here and you could flip up that side if you needed more space or you could do the single seat but no it's got the uh i don't know if the, are these weather techs yes sir so it's got the weather tech floor mats front and rear um it's got a lot of space back here and this is just the crew cab this ain't like the mega cab or anything like that so a lot of cool cool features um the camera is here, obviously, in the tailgate handle. 
It had the spray in Linex bed liner already, so that's nice. Already had the gooseneck and all that. So it's definitely one of those trucks that's ready to go. Um, I did take off. The guy had a veteran 4x4 decals on the side, so we took those off, obviously, because Dad's not a veteran, and they were kind of kind of bold. There was like a bald eagle and a 4x4 with American flag, so it, it definitely stood out. But um, no, other than that, we did change the amber cab light bulbs over to LEDs, um, which look really good. I don't know if he's going to keep the white lenses or if we might go to a tinted eventually. But um, no, Dad's had this truck, like you said, about four months. I've driven it a couple times. It's one of those things that's it's fun to drive. He said there, like, I mean, there's plenty of power there. You put your foot into it and it goes. Um, we might end up doing uh, later on down the road if he wants to do a different exhaust. Um, I know these kind of can be restrictive on these new ones because obviously you have that and you have another one there and then you get you work your way further up and you got like the Cadillac converters and all that. So maybe we change up the exhaust here a little bit, nothing too loud just to kind of create more airflow to get that um, power in there. But no, um, so far so good. Um, thank you again, Aaron, for the oil. Um, if you guys need anything from him, like I said, his information is down in the description. Huge shout out to him. Like Dad said, the oil was here in like two days. Um, I know he's going to be sending me some business cards and stickers and stuff. So uh, if you guys need any further information, just let me know. Um, thanks again, though. Um, this is Dad's new truck, or new to him. Uh, first time on the channel, first review. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, remember learning as I do, doing what I love. If you like the videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, hit the bell notification so you know every time I upload, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.